you want to take a listen? Yeah, I, that would be nice. What are you guys doing here? We're, <laughs> we're talking to you. We're, we're illegally recording the inside of a staff bar. <laughs> We thought it was a good way to get kicked out real fast. Do you have a paper shredder so I can like shred my NDA? <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> um, this was uh, all uh, approved by Frisky Whiskey. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, I know. we are as uh, valid as we possibly I'm be. I'm stoked that you guys are here. Yeah, do you want to be interviewed? You should sit one of those you're, chairs. you're being talked to right now on oh, mic. We're recording, okay. so you better yeah, uh, tell us who you are. Is this is where I say that um, I got laid because of you guys? Yes. <laughs> so, hi, my name is Calamity Jane. And I heard Beth talking about uh, Chris Cross and, uh, and uh, him showing his penis to you. Yes. Yes. His magnificent, <laughs> magnificent <laughs> alter nice. penis. You were, you were like, yes, please. Yes. Well, he friend requested me on Facebook, and I'm like, mm, is that going to be a dick pic? <laughs> and I never got one. I just got to see it in real life. Oh, well, you know, all, not all of us are that lucky. I got the genital portrait version. <laughs> I I, 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 went, I saw that later. Like later <laughs> I'm a little bit jealous that I'm the only one who hasn't seen Chris Cross's dick. <laughs> Welcome to Accuracy 3rd. Where we have no thematic consistency. <laughs> hey, we're introducing the podcast this time instead of not introducing it. Welcome to Accuracy 3rd. <laughs> I'm really excited for this this week's podcast. And I'm, I'm Beth. Rex. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Beth. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to Accuracy Third. I'm really excited for this week's episode. Today. Yeah, it's gonna be great. I'm Beth. I'm Rex, and I'm D-Day. Yeah, uh, have you guys ever been to the black hole? If uh, you it... have, no, it's Make okay. Faces. We can all just talk over each other. It's, it's great. Cool. <laughs> welcome home, guys. Hi guys, welcome to Accuracy Third. I'm D-Day. I'm Rex. I am, and I am Beth. That is the best we've ever done it. Uh, today we are talking about a bar we're talking in a bar we're talking to a bar we're talking to the entirety of a bar yes and you will be listening to the entirety of a bar the best thing about this bar is not only that the black hole is a staff sanctuary of a bar it's that the three of us should damn well have been at work when we were instead recording in that bar. Oh, guys, we sh so should have been at work but instead we're drinking and smoking it was delightful. You guys, the bosses are going to listen to this. Uh, are they? Do they? Uh, it's not like we didn't do our work as good, if not better, than all other years. And I mean, we said we are going to the black hole to drink and record it, and they were like, yeah, fine. And then huh? technically what we did was we just hung out long enough that we didn't eat lunch, and then we went back. Yes. <laughs> that That is, in fact, the case. Ladies and gentlemen, you are listening to the sacrifice of our lunch. For your edification. 100% black hole shit is about to happen <laughs> in the black hole. This is the black hole on a regular day on setup week before um, the participants are coming in. And everyone there is works for, with, volunteers, does the org thing, or is in way early for a theme camp? No one is I, in way early for a theme camp. Nobody who is way in for a theme camp is at the black hole in the Unless middle they're of, also staff. In yeah. the middle of the day. Yeah. O uh, only people who are working hard setting up the city are in the black hole. In the middle of the day. Having a drink in the middle of the day. On Wednesday before, like, setup week. So. It is so goddamn lovely in there. It is also, I'll warn you now, listeners, loud. Um, this is a field recording, and you're going to hear artifacts of our environment. We're like, also... seriously, you wouldn't think that there's, like, art cars rolling around, but apparently there's just, like, a van circling <laughs> playing music. Uh-huh. But enjoy it. It's like you're... Your 4D like <laughs> experience, like put on your nice headphones and hear the sounds of the playa, and like go running first and don't take a shower and smell your armpit. <laughs> we're uh, we're also not going to do a ton of editing to this episode. We we recorded it uh, in about an hour, and you're going to get the bulk of that hour edited uh, f for uh, public protection. <laughs> yeah, edit, edited to to keep um, some of our friends out of too much trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> so if you've ever wondered what it's like to hang out at the bar where literally staff people don't feel comfortable, um, where you're not cool enough to be there, even if you're way too cool for Burning Man. Oh, my God. I, I have 
fancy patches from Burning Man for how many years I've volunteered for them. And I still like have to take a deep breath every time I walk through that gate. And the, really? Like, I feel it's that way about the ghetto. Method. I don't feel that way about the black hole. Oh, I don't feel that way about the ghetto at all. I uh, know. <laughs> the ghetto's always been so easy and warm and welcoming. I've, like, it took me years of volunteering before I felt like it was okay to go in the black hole and get a drink. So, like, the the DPW people, uh-huh. they they are like marshmallows. They, 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 they put on all that, that tough punk rock shit to, to like, keep you from learning of how course. soft they That's are. That's what makes them cool. The people in the black hole... Are cool. No, they're not. They're, they're fucking nerds that are desperately trying to hide it by rejecting other human beings. Do you Sorry, guys not hole. know how cool That's, being nerds is? Have you not gotten the message? Nerds are kings of the world these days. We saw the black hole do, like, doing Game <laughs> of Thrones Tell me who's cooler things. than Elizabeth Warren. Three, two, one. Everyone. Can't do it. <laughs> Mr. Misopheles. Literally everyone. The cat? Yes. <laughs> um, Fine. But not the movie version. Before or after his magic. <laughs> this is, all right. This is why this takes me forever to edit at the end. Um, <laughs> um, it's such good Patreon content. It is. We should send this to them and no one else. <laughs> um,. I would like to point out the black hole is the most intimidating bar I've ever been into at Burning Man. Like it's scary as fuck, and they they'll they'll cold shoulder you. Oh yeah, and they'll pull you a malort, you, they, even though they've known you for years. If if you don't look like a gate, then they don't know why you're there exactly. And yet, and yet, if you go to Burning Man, if you've gotten in the gate, you're welcome in that bar. You are. You are welcome. In that bar. Whether they want you to be or not. Um, <laughs> I, I would like to point out that I have never been hassled or given a hard time at the black hole. And really? I don't present as gate. If if there you is don't anyone present as gate. If there is anyone from Gate <laughs> listening to this podcast um, that also knows gate. me, if you could please let me know why I don't get hassled. I also at have gate. never been hassled at the black hole. It's just a vibe. Like y- even if they're not hassling you, there's the sense that that hassling could come at any second. Guys, 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 I got it. It's because I don't read social cues. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. You don't understand that this is a hassle environment. Yeah, but it, cause they're it's, interacting with me. It's good. It's a real chill hassle, to be honest with you. Like, you do have to be aware of social cues to feel uncomfortable there because you're loud. Maybe they're impressed with all of my blase. <laughs> Very well, it could be true. You know what it is? It's the black disco ball. <laughs> I do love the black disco ball. I noticed it this year for the first time. Apparently, it's been there forever. It's been there forever, and there are rays of darkness emanating from it <laughs> at all times. Yeah, it Never is look actually directly into it. <laughs> it is actually the only goth bar on Playa. <laughs> Whoa! Oh no, you're so right. Shots fired. Um, look, guys, if you're ethically non-monogamous, gothy, and nerdy, um, you should go and try and pick up people there. But otherwise... Oh, yeah, it is a hot swinging bar. Yeah, if you well, are into rules, regulations, <laughs> and uh, a standard of social dress... But, <laughs> I'm into two out of three of those things. Right? Like, would you... Would, would you like to check people's tickets and ask them a series of questions? Would I you wouldn't. like to stand dusty in lanes? You don't have no. to wear all black, but if you already wear all black, have we got a department for you? <laughs> Gate, it's huge. It's sloppy. It's also perimeter and exodus. <laughs> <laughs> this is the black hole bar, guys. Uh, enjoy this fucking awesome audio from last year. So, Calamity, what do you yes. do for gay? Oh, so I am gay PW. I am a mentor and I work point one. And then during Wait, the event. Wait, just for one second, what is point one? Point one is the vendor entrance, where everyone pre event who has a wristband with the government tracking device comes through. Also, <laughs> oh, that makes me feel so much safer about having this thing on my wrist. <laughs> oh, wait, sorry, we're not being tracked by the government. But 
But if yeah, and I'm not because I took my fucking RFID out of my bracelet. <laughs> Shh, I'm gay. You're not supposed to tell me that. <laughs> yeah, well, I still have it. Uh, and it's also where all the vendors come through and everything else. Uh, and then during the event, I drive fuel for DPW. You drive fuel for DPW? So, uh, if, I, I, if I smell like Ode Day 93, <laughs> it's a diesel I wore this morning. Oh, yum. Yeah. Delicious diesel. Oh, it tastes amazing. So, is that not, are you not working, you aren't heat, you're just on the diesel I, DPW I, I'm team? On the petrol team. On the petrol team, yes. all right. Pe did that used to be called fuel, or is that, you guys got like two names? I have no idea. <laughs> all, all I know is I fell into this contract by accident, because I wanted them to pay for my hazmat certification. Oh, fun. Well, yeah, because yeah. I, I want to drive for, for pyrotechnic sure. know, companies, and... It's like, oh, hey, well, uh, here's when it starts and here's when it ends. Are you on contract right now? I'm like, yes, but I'm off during that time. But I, at least I get to go to Burning Man. I get to see, like, these things called game camps. And they have really cool shit, and they give you bottles of liquor for giving them fuel. Oh, wow. That's, that's pretty nice. Yeah. I but mean, they're so happy to get that thing that they paid for. So Weird. do you actually get to, like, go to Burning Man at least once? Are you going to do a day where you're not shift time? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't been to Burning Man in so long. <laughs> like You didn't feel all weird and uncomfortable? <laughs> like, I went to Burning Man my first year, and then I joined Gate, and then I forgot to go to Burning Man ever since. <laughs> I remember everyone, Gate doesn't go to Burning Man. Did you... Did no. you work the lanes during event, or did you just, like, on your days off, hang out at the Black Hole exclusively? Yes and yes. Yeah, it, check. It, it's more so like, oh, you're sober? Come on, we need you right now. Oh, uh, yeah, no, sober will get you get you fucked up out here. Oh. Sober is a commodity yeah. out here. Being sober and being on the org's insurance will fuck you over. I mean, oh, uh, you yeah. <laughs> My favorite excuse for not having HR conversations with volunteers is I've been drinking. We'll have to do that tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> After working decompression, I was asked uh, the same night, like, okay, like, let's meet up. I'm like, mmm, you guys, someone just dosed me. This is not a conversation for right now. We're not. Your wow. staff are not going to have this conversation. <sighs> but I got, a, I got a really nice email asking me to follow up. It's like, oh, professional. <laughs> Did you, you got dosed? Uh, with consent. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With, with consent, with consent. Totally, totally. Are they... the, though that is, like, the best excuse of all time, because, A, you're being responsible. They understand. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. and, 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 B, you are not responsible for your irresponsibility. But yet, if you get too drunk and don't show up the shift, that's unacceptable. Yes. Yeah. We agree. <laughs> that's right. All of you are uh, of those sorts. Yeah. Yeah, we are uh, on the clock Good or something. Good thing I don't work under you guys. <laughs> I mean, oh, by the way, guys, I went off calm. Yeah. You guys might want to oh, go off calm. Oh, shit, we just have our radios all on. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm off. Cool, cool. I didn't announce it. I didn't announce it either. It's fine. They don't if anybody it. Asks, I announced mine, but I didn't turn it off. Yeah. <laughs> Going on lunch, BRD. So, what is working at Point One like? Is it all their service drivers and high level staff? What is it? Uh, you get to see all the pre event staff, which is kind of nice because yeah. you kind of see who's come through the city. You know who's in the city. Um, you, you get the uh, the first look at the prospects for the year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah pretty much <laughs> like, welcome back, welcome back. Who the fuck are you? Uh, what are you doing here? Um, and it, it's, it's Where are you camping and what time are you off shift? <laughs> yes, yes. And, um, <laughs> Uh, what, what sub department do you work for? Uh, is your bar open? What time is it? <laughs> when is your big opening party? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I mean, that's one of the first things I asked her this year. I don't want a flaccid opening. I just want a full one. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah. That, that, what is it when you use your thumb to get it in? Uh, thumbing. <laughs> thumbing? Yeah, you don't want a thumbing opening. <laughs> the crutch? The crutch. No, no, no. It'll get harder later. We swear. We, we swear. It, it, it gets better like over time. A thumber. Come and sit. <laughs> I, I, Oh, yeah. So, so, so yeah, yeah, but sit in front of the oh, microphone. Actually, we sit over there so we can. Yes. Thank so, you. This is Accuracy Third. It's the worst podcast. <laughs> um, We're the worst podcast about Burning Man that is called Accuracy Third. And, and, and what's weird is they update on time. Like, oh, so I don't setup. don't uh, false advertise anymore. No, that's, that's true. Oh, oh, we, anymore? No, I mean, no, we, we have we've, never uh, missed our deadline. We've just been so ahead on our deadline so often, people expect our deadline to be 24 hours ahead of what it yeah, actually is. I, <laughs> me. Uh, but, wait, you guys are burners. FYI, we release oh, on Wednesdays, you fuckers. Wednesdays. Uh, subscriber, you get extra goodies. Yeah, oh, mm -hmm. thanks. 
I, oh, well, so you have heard all of our embarrassings. Give them all your fucking money, and don't listen to them on April Fool's. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Folks. you guys every year. Uh, I fall into we're it. not necessarily doing that yeah, next we, year. We might have no, to not do we that. Have we have to. Um, our listeners. We're, we're gonna take a couple years off, little. or maybe like <laughs> April first. We'll yeah, yeah, yeah. That's every burger I'm like, I'm not coming next year. I'm not coming next year. Um, hi. What's your name? I'm Stephanie. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, Stephanie. I uh, work for Gate. I work for Gate, um, but this is my first year. I also camp at Poly Paradise. Oh, nice. maybe I found your wristband. <laughs> <laughs> no, you have acquired a bonus wristband from our village. Uh -huh. nice. um, no, I, have, I haven't been there. My bestie picked it up for me, and <laughs> maybe that was an invite. Uh, no. <laughs> no. Um, no. Another. Uh, another. There, there are things we do there that you might want the invite to, like the trash can turkey Thanksgiving dinner. You know. I have trash never can. actually talked to anyone. Trash can turkey. What? No shit. Like cooked in a trash can? Like cooked in a trash can. Uh, I, I, I would like to point out that this is metal. a brand new <laughs> trash, trash can, can purchased for the, the cooking of, of, we do pizzas and turkeys in our trash can oven. Oh, wow. We, like seriously, we bake up 30, 40 fucking pizzas. We have pizza boxes and we surprise our neighbors. We walk in and Aww. we ask, who asked for delivery? Uh, you guys, you guys I've are... gotten that before. That's the pizza I got. That's us. Oh my God, that's amazing. That's like the last cool thing that happened to me as a participant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How long ago was that? <laughs> 2009? Oh, do I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, D-Day was a participant. I really ago. am sorry. We, no, we cook pizza all the time. That's just how long it's been since he's been a participant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, and okay. had fun as a participant. Okay. I don't participate anymore. <laughs> I'm radically self-entitled. He, he's not good at participation. <laughs> <laughs> so I, we haven't actually talked to anyone from Poly Paradise, and we sometimes poke a little fun at your camp. So do we. Good. Good. Um, <laughs> Good. Because it, it is, yeah. it is uh, loving fun from uh, loving Holly people. Uh, Indeed. Uh, ethically uh, non-monogamous, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, thank you, Calamity. I gotta go work. Please. Please. Gotta work. <laughs> working here. So you this is your fun? first year working for Gate? My first year working for Gate. What I do you think so far? I fucking love it. Oh, it's nice. Drank the Kool-Aid and it was iced and they made me wash my hands before I could have it. So, <laughs> I mean, what's not to love, right? Yeah. It's classy. I know. They told me they were crusty Gate ass. No, they're fucking washing their hands all the time. <laughs> <laughs> they are telling stories out of school. Well, that's also because Strep is going around in DPW. <laughs> Crusty gate because they're washing their hands. No, the, the crust is around the eyes yes. always. Oh, uh, only around that's the a baby eyes. wipes. Just some baby wipes. <laughs> so, uh, what shifts have you been working? Um, I have been kind of sampling a little bit of everything. So, I had my new blood training and some lane time and a scanner shift with brand new technology that sometimes is works. Interesting. Yeah. I, I was going to be all politically correct with that, but, you know. <laughs> Um, I've uh, done fluffing, or sorry, life support. Life support? You're not fluffers anymore? Uh, apparently not. No. I am a fluffer. They can call it whatever they want. Right. I fluff at regionals. I'm that's a the opinion fluffer. of most of the fluffers I've <laughs> um, spoken. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The fluffers feel pretty aligned with that term. <laughs> yes, thank you very much. So, we know what it means and we're fine with it. Yeah. Is Gates steering away from fluffers? That uh, is they, they now call that yes. job life support. For reasons. Ah, uh, okay. Yep. Reasons. Yep. reasons. So I did that last night, which was awesome. And then I got to spend the afternoon and morning out at point one. Thank you. Letting all the fancy fucking posh RVs through. I mean, uh -huh. who the fuck are these people? My apartment is not that big. <laughs> point one? Oh, God, they're probably first camp. <laughs> um, yeah, I got told one of them had a fold-down fucking stage and was for the most, one of three most famous DJs in the world. Oh. I was adequately impressed. Was it, was it, Did you? That's oh, like one of adequately. three most famous jazz musicians. Um, <laughs> or one of three most favorite janitors in the world. I mean, no, I'm those sorry. are way cooler. Well, the they actually do of, something. If you are That's one of them. <laughs> yeah. The thing I love about famous DJs is really anybody could be up on that stage just hitting the play, play button, button in their sunglasses, uh -huh. putting one hand on their headphone and the other in the air. I'd be like, ooh, I could do that job. Yeah, man, uh -huh. that's, that's totally Diplo. <laughs> Looks just like job. all the times I saw him before. Hey, I, I could be Daft Punk, you don't, don't know. What? When Grover Oakers came out. I uh -huh. so wanted to run into that guy. I did. I took him at the airport. Ooh. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. 
microwave winnings are not his at all. He was actually the nicest guy in the world. Surprises then, me not at all. Then, yeah. uh, Dennis Kucinich, uh -huh. came through gate, was the most giant asshole I ever seen. Like, the most entitled, like, oh, don't you know who the fuck I think I am? <laughs> So my ex was working window one, and so those are the problem child, you know, or staff. Or Wait, window one is where the problem children go? Box office. Yeah. Window one is the problem the children? Issues. Problem children or staff or, you know, whatever. The D-lot of box office? Basically. <laughs> and he basically reached into the window and had a problem and started screaming, oh. like, hey, I'm supposed to give a, talk, a fucking TED talk in center camp in an hour and a half. Don't you know who the fuck I am? And I'm at Kate. And that's my girl. It's like, oh, hell no. Jump the fence. It's like, I will pay for your lawyer if you break Dennis Kucinich's hand. I love right now. It's like, hey, do we have a fucking problem here? Like, don't you know who I am? I'm like, I know exactly who you are. Like, you need to get on the horn. You need to call Larry. You need to call Marion. I'm supposed to be somewhere. I'm fucking important. Like, <laughs> you need to call Larry. I love it. Call Larry. Get him on the horn. Motherfucker, these are volunteers. <laughs> I called Marion. Marion told him to fucking stand by. That's <laughs> <laughs> okay, first cool the story about Marion today. People don't realize that the people who run this event are the same people on all levels. <laughs> That's true. Nobody in the office doesn't want to fuck you. And no one knows that there anything is happening or doing at all. Period. One hundred percent. It's lightly controlled chaos. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I mean, so housekeeping. New voices. Do you are. Me, and it's like you need to call Larry. I'm like. I've legit made Larry wait <laughs> at the gate because he brought his dog in one year and didn't have a tag for it. It's like, cool, so Marion's got it? I'm like, yep, well, nope. then you're just gonna have to sit here until she wakes up and brings it out here. And I love Larry for this stuff, where he's like, cool, you're doing the job, you're doing it right, thank you. Like, I'll just hang out with Shay. He was a good man. He was. Mm -hmm. He, he, he could have tolerated been, my bullshit for years. Yeah. And he could have been much more of a Dennis Kucinich, but oh, he wasn't. He oh, no, he had his, like, he had his fucking moments. He had his moments. I'm sure yeah. he did. Uh, so does Marion. True. Stories I won't tell, but yeah. Tell us your name. I'm plus one. Hi, plus one. I've heard of I know you. it. Is that what the plus <laughs> Don't tell me, me, you! Are the plus pins? Um, because no, there's a story behind that. Well. Yeah, those are amazing pins. So the plus pins are for new bloods, and they give you a pin at the end of training. And it's like give this to the person that got you to sign up for game. Oh, nice. Oh yeah, I've got a couple of uh, Ranger toasters that are yeah. the same thing. Mm -hmm. uh, and please. Hi, I'm I'm Scotland. I'm the gate art director. Kate Art Director. Yeah, that's right. Cool. So that, um, tell me about the yeah, what like, that shape mean? of that job. Uh, it's a very oblong, obtuse shape <laughs> job. Um, we don't really have, you so know, a lot of yeah. art in our staff. When we do, it's like haphazard at best. Uh -huh. So we made the attempt to kind of put together um, a team of people and I, I run that bit to make art on the staff side. So as one of the things, I produce the opening night show. So when you come through the gate at 12.01 on Saturday, you get a show of fireworks, art cars, um, and uh, it's like a, I call it my fucking Burning Man sampler pack. <laughs> it's, it's a very hard stay in your vehicle, but look at all the cool shit that you will eventually get to see. But really, it's a party for us because we're really tired from building everything. Uh -huh. So enjoy. <laughs> So I'm, I'm deeply immersed in the, the world of, of setting up the pyrotechnics for that right now and all the craziness that's going to go on. So if you're coming through the gate at 12.01 on Saturday and you see fireworks and whatnot, that's that's my ball. That's, that's all my stuff. You know, that was, uh, it's been a long time since I've come through the gate on uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but we're um, very important. We're very important. <laughs> we, do, we do important. Do you need a special work? wristband? Aren't do you need special treatment? <laughs> we need to be out here weeks ago. <laughs>
We're uh, so we're so important. They put circuitry on us. This yeah, y'all have oh, some nice good. clean shoes. That's good. I stopped wearing mine like a week ago because I don't care anymore. Yeah, I think they're over past the point where they're can cut this shit off. No, that, no, that would have no, not. That yet. would imply that I have the time or I'm allowed to leave Playa due to meetings. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't like wearing it during the event. You know, it just kind of reminds me that we were here longer. Oh yeah, we're elite. Yeah, I like it a lot because it just gouges the participants' backs while I'm hugging. Yeah. A nice big scratch. What happens when you have like multiple? Because I keep them clipped to me, so they're here. Yeah, that counts. Is that valid? I can keep it on my Lammy? No. Damn no. It. Damn, it. Damn it. But I mean, like, nice try. <laughs> Tons of people with all the But yeah, I, I, I put together a lot of the other stupid stuff. I used to do uh, some of the other events, our, our parade, our New Blood Night, just making our art cars look crazier. What's and New Blood Night? New Blood Night is, is where we take everyone that's new to Gate, that's volunteered for the first time, they've never done Gate before, and we call them New Blood. They're, they're, they're welcome. You are New Blood to this family of Gate. Otherwise known as Fresh Meat. Fresh Meat, yeah, yeah. We fresh throw them meat. a party. We want to. <laughs> You know, like this this job is not easy. This is this is a really hard job. Yeah. We we when you work gate, when you work gate actual or any of our other points, you're you're way away from the city. You're you're a bus ride away. You're you can see the city off in the distance like having a good time and you're out there checking people's tickets. Yeah. It, it's a a job that feels kind of the least like what burners come out here to do. Right. Like that, you are in no way expressing yourself. <laughs> yeah. So last time I brought them dead mouse. I, I threw a dead mouse party at the gate, which was pretty fun. Did you find a dead mouse? No, no, we had dead mouse. You had air actual quotes, de air quotes, ah. actual dead mouse. <laughs> it yeah, it was totally dead mouse. I volunteered with lots of other departments. This is actually one of the easiest departments and one of the nicest. We we try to we try and make it easy and nice. And I cool. really love that you have like a greeting party. Like we don't our our department small enough that our new people. We've been trying to figure out a ritual or something to welcome them on the team. Right now it's just me hugging them and facing them and making them sit in the chair. Have a this and is a their thankless, <laughs> hard job that people do for, a, you know, volunteer points, oh. you know, and, and when you look at it, a lot of the jobs out here are harder than real world jobs. Oh, oh yeah. 110%. Oh, yeah. Hey, go stand out here at this dusty ass place and check vehicles and make sure people have their shit together oh, for six hey, hours. Oh, and hey, crawl in the back of this thing that reeks of gasoline? Yeah, and hey, look, is that unsafe? I don't know. We should probably <laughs> figure that out. Like, for six hours at a time. Oh, and by the way, it's really dusty and uh, occasionally warm. Yeah, have when fun. When it's not cold. And, and enjoy telling people no. Just just really squishing people's parts. Well, no, you got to remember that the tagline is stay in your vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> We're gate, not greeters. We don't want we your don't hugs. Want your the hugs. hugs are down the road. Please enjoy that somewhere Please else. Please leave us your alcohol and move on. Yeah. When Bingo. we tell you to. Yes, give us your stuff. Thank you. Have a great day. Any gifts you have for greeters, you can go ahead and leave them with us. They don't need them. They yeah. sparkle already. Yeah, they're happy. They're fine. No, that, that's actually so ingrained in me that when we roll in a week ahead and we're in our, our no line gate uh, getting scanned in by a like friend of ours wigs. like like big important people uh, and we're being scanned in by by someone that we know real well and I jump out of my car to give him a hug I'm like oh fuck I'm not supposed to do this what do you yell at well if you're in the but cool kids club I don't know maybe there's there's a possibility so, some, some people will get upset they're like you just hugged that other person I'm like yeah yeah, they're about to come on shift as soon as they park their truck. <laughs> so, I know them. Yeah, I don't know you. I have their microbiome. You know, it's me. really funny. It's like, I, I've said to people, like, yeah, I know them. I don't know you. Stay in your fucking vehicle, and I'll get to you in a minute. I've seen people say, the, uh, I know them quite a few times. Cool. Cool story, bro. <laughs> cool story. What's your name? Baby boy. Hi, baby, baby boy. boy. I'm off the of spires. You're nice. off. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you guys just finished yesterday. Yeah. Hot so wait. you know turnaround. 
I'm right here. No, you're not. You're, <laughs> you're like you're three feet away, from, away the from the mic. From the mic. Exactly. <laughs> In fact, you don't exist. Do you, do you have any extra spires? Can I burn one? Uh, I, I am in the confirmed or not. We should talk later. How was, how was 420 Spire last it was, it was pretty, pretty, pretty wild. Oh, <laughs> good. Sorry. It was, it was quite the, quite the pileup, especially, it's gotten a lot less outwardly wild, a lot more centralized on the spire, too. Several years ago, it'd just be like, put up a crooked spire with a fence around it and then drop a few cars, shoot a few ambles, one mile. But now, you know, a typical day. Typical day, typical day. <laughs> now, now uh, you know, Fort Wayne Spire is apparently put up a spire, oh, and there's a sign to, oh, and oh, shade's building, a large shade structure. <laughs> oh, first camp drew out a... Uh, Fridge that everyone's smashing with their shit. And, oh crap! Now that shit is everywhere, <laughs> and they're just laughing while we cleaned it up. Uh, <laughs> it was first camp. If you're gonna talk, close your chair, close your turn around. <laughs> Microphones have a direction and range. Uh -huh. I don't. See, baby boy knows shit. <laughs> yeah. Turn around sucks. <laughs> turn around does suck. Why are you so mean to me? Because, because you're not on fucking mic. You because you, you, you move closer, but you you're still on mic. Right? You, you, you need to snuggle up to baby boy. Uh, All right, you guys are awesome. That's fine. I have to head to meeting now. If you, is there any other you. questions you have or anything that um, that Art could answer for you? Yeah. Why in the name of shit would you? Gate. <laughs> like I don't understand being border patrol at Burning Man. Gate, gate is more than it's not. Well, first let's back, back the, fu back the fuck up. Back the fuck up. One second here. <laughs> we we start the party so people can come in here and set up. God damn right. So. We like being a little salty. Plus, my favorite color is black, so I don't have to wear any other color. So my goth roots are respected. Yeah, I, I wonder how much of the departmental draw, just in general, is from uh, the populace of Burning Man, whose primary wardrobe is black. There's, there's, there's a, a lot. lot. There's a lot. I mean, there's that's the number one big draw right there. Yeah. Two, we have the best bar possible. Just Truth. hands the down. Black hole uh -huh. is the, shit. the black hole bar is the best bar you will ever find out here, and, and that's not that's not a that's not a joke. We don't offer you Kool Aid with some bullshit in it. Yeah, it's not like oh, we have one thing and shut up. Like, if you come here, was like, hey, do you want? I was like gin and tonic, and they're like, we have seven up. <laughs> and like, let me let me put it this way. If you come here and I'm bartending, or or someone here is bartending, and you say like I, I want a good cocktail, like a really good cocktail, like I, I made a gin and tonic with a or with a shrub, you know, rubbing it and a little bit of muddled everything else, like I will make an actual cocktail. There's people who actually know how to bartend out here, so I wasn't aware of that. So that's a that's number two draw. We only got Malort here. Before. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That Malort is a real story. Yeah, well, yeah we, we have had some an art camp. We have plenty of we have, Yeah, we have some Malort. <laughs> I for one remember uh, when I was growing up as a young child. I didn't really like the uh, black the black allure that everyone has, but then I got a little more hammering. Yeah. And then number three, number three is the people. People in this, the people in this group are the most badass, awesome people I've ever met. Why do you keep coming back? Yeah. Do you come back for the event? No, I don't go to Burning Man. Are you kidding me? I don't really ever leave this, this part of the city. Not, not, so a, not the, at all. Once the gate opens, you don't go to Burning Man. Not usually, unless I have had too much rosé, and by too much rosé, <laughs> I mean a pallet. <laughs> <laughs> That is Thursday rosé all day. I will be here all day drinking rosé. So if you see me then, so you keep it's good for to have plans. For, for our people, yep. and that's it. Now you're not talking on mic. Guys, come on, get your shit well, together. We, we did run out of seats. Yeah. yeah, that's fine. But you all are awesome. I'm gonna go back to meeting, man. Scum, thank Enjoy you for joining us. Good luck. Meetings. Thank you for having meetings. me. Yeah. I'll be here all week and probably the next week and maybe a week after that. Oh, so You'll see more of us. Jealous. Sounds good. Yeah, because your bar's the best. <laughs> and we're <laughs> I now you, you're back in that seat. Yeah. Fine. You guys went to high school together? We did. Tell us yeah. about that. No. <laughs> it is not part of this interview. <laughs> I'm not interested in anything else anymore. Uh. Hey, turn around. You work on Spires too? I do. Uh, how is DPW treating you after you, you left us over at our team? I understand some people are. Power. What? Uh, uh, I, I do get power. 
Wow. Uh, I did not get shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Which, That's a trade-off. Yeah. <laughs> was not excellent. But we're having a great time. Do you guys we, live in the ghetto? We live in the ghetto. Aspires is great, but you know, it's the same politics, different team. I bet. <laughs> There's no way to not politics on these teams. Bernie Man lives for bureaucracy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Aspires is great. Aspires is pounding. In the sun. We get loaded, we, go, we get hammered, and we... I mean, that's a, it's a good love, uh, a good motto. Um, but it's also working in the direct sun a fuck ton. Okay. Absolutely. Almost entirely. Um, fluffers bring shade with them in their nice trucks, mm -hmm. and we all huddle around the huddle around the shade while we get fluffed for uh, like a few minutes. Every how, so that, that begs the question, how are you so much pinker than she is? Uh... I because have an I, olive skin too. <laughs> I, 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 I was born and raised and live in Oregon. I was born and raised. You just aren't meant for the sun. <laughs> uh, strange bossy bad creatures that fear sunlight. It's Oregonian. <laughs> you do look like a real Aryan baby boy. Oh yeah, I'm as far as I know, German, Russian, Irish. I'm about a I'm white, white, white. Mm -hmm. Well, white, white, white. After you get a like nice pinkish tan. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, the, prior to. Yeah, that you weren't considered white from a lot of those things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how many people work on Aspire crew? Like. Um, so our crew this year is gigantic. No, we had just enough people. It was we had just, enough. We had just, just enough. the right amount of people. Uh, things we went worked more very smoothly hard. than usual because we had the right number rather than less than the right number. Gotcha. Um, but one spy, uh, one spire has four concrete stakes, so that's four people's sledges. Then after that, uh, there's a person to push and pull it, and a person to side it in, and then two people to screw it. Gotcha. It's all first part. And by the way, the spires are not they they are the poles that light the walkways and promenades and plaza. They oh are yeah. Not the lamp lighter thingies. They're not lamp posts. They're spires. They're spires. They're spires. They're spires. Um, you probably don't. Do see spires them. have lamps on them? <laughs> by the lamp lighters. I have to do it. Those are the ones that hold four lamps. Uh, um, those are the, the greatest great spires, specifically on the six o'clock problem. And then there's the lesser spires. So How many more. spires are there? 317 with 420. Yeah, right, yep. for sure. Ha also has stuff. there ever been a spire launched from a trebuchet? Uh, uh, I, 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 no, there has been a trebuchet launched from a trebuchet. Right? Yeah. I, I know the trebuchet has thrown a lot of things. Yeah, I would I think a spire might be. Uh, we should make a ballista to shoot a spire rather than throw it through a trebuchet. I'm uh, all for I making a ballista. A ballista is something we need to have. All right. Next 420. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. That's a goal. We could get like launchers and fucking like get poofy things. You, you, you could do like a, a vertical hydraulic launch. Oh, just yeah, straight up like in the air. A pneumatic, uh, pneumatic <laughs> ballista for no, spires. Just one of these. Yeah. What powder is it? We should be exploding more things. I kind of feel like if you stuff black powder under a spire, what you're going to be launching is a uh, whole big cloud of splinters. No, 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 no. You still have to have the iron. Take plate, <laughs> several pounds of black powder without too much worry. It's like it goes up, it comes down, it's damp. Mm -hmm. A spire is made out of wood, despite their look. <laughs> and so you get a good vertical, like tip of spire. I, I think that might actually be a war crime. <laughs> Maybe. To Maybe. explode a spire? Yeah. <laughs> splinter, <laughs> splinter oh, Banned yeah. weapon. How long do you use the same spires? Do you replace them? Um, they get retired basically when they can't stand. I mean, a lot of them are bananas. There's a lot, a lot of, them of bananas. Banana 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 what does banana mean? It bows. Oh. You know, you know, if you put a string on it, I would just say that's a, 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 a nice curve. It's got a nice Sometimes curve. you need a nice curve. Sexy curve. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we, we, we put aside the really nice ones for the promenades. Uh, the the really oh, really there's a spire well. hierarchy here. There is a spire hierarchy. There there's the greater, <laughs> there's the lessers, and then there's the less than lessers, which are all the crappy ones. And then there's the one that's a foot too tall. And then there's the extra tall one somewhere. The there's one find. extra tall there's one. one somewhere in the city. Somebody fucked up. No, it was on purpose. It was on somebody did. That oh, is no, kind of adorable. It's, uh, yeah, no, it's uh, 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 God bless those lamplighters. They're gonna have fun with. Oh, like it, I hope it's at the end of their route when uh, they're it's, just it's, gotten it's, used it's, to. It's, uh, it's somewhere in the city. Uh, I, only the lamplighters will notice. People. Maybe it's it's just a bit taller, but it's enough taller to be potentially problematic. Yeah. Come on, back country, come sit down and turn off your radio. 
I would be talking, but I got a great sticker, so I'm paying attention to putting that <laughs> on my coffee mug right now. Um, <laughs> Y'all have an interview without me. Hey, plus um, one. Don't I don't think I'm going to introduce yourself yet. Can I ask you that now? Because we can't hear it. Oh, good. Well, say it around what it is. <laughs> because people hate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. So why do you work at I mean, I don't mean to brag, but we work medium and And what is so addictive about <laughs> Oh, we play so medium? Yeah. 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 We'll call on. What, what is, what's the action like in We'll Call On? Have I been up past three this past week? I have. But so only it's a once. thrill seeking thing. Mostly I go to bed at 12 30. And I get a lifesaver. Oh, I, I was supposed to go to bed at about midnight while we were fires. Oh, not I wrong. Wake up I like your style. Guys, we're making this literally impossible to edit for me. So let's have a conversation. <laughs> oh, we're not editing this. <laughs> we're just going to release it in full. Yeah. Um, well, you're, oh, you're right. Panic you... right and left, and then it'll be like sitting in the middle of the circle. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, I'll cut out all the racist bits, <laughs> and we can keep all the rest. Oh yeah, please don't be racist or homophobic or misogynistic, because then it makes it harder to edit. Because there's all this the ain't background Johnny noise. Can't match it. Like... <laughs> no, you just make one mic always sets a right, one mic always sets a left. I, I do. Then, like, I think we're, the entire thing. it's oh. making a surround sound experience. Yeah, we'll yeah. just we'll cut that. We'll like, that. like you're yeah. sitting right in the conversation. Mm -hmm. So why do you work gay? Why do you work gay? Totally. Because we treat people the best here. You um, treat people the best. How big is gay? I do. Uh, do you want an official answer on that? No, you didn't give me. <laughs> Approximate, Approximate is fine. Ballpark. Uh, so people that work at least enough to get eats and all the rest of the perks that we give yeah. is 500. Uh, people that work white. Damn. Maybe just enough to get a t-shirt and the patch and the sticker. Oh, that's is probably why you people are hooking up with each other. There's enough uh, room, room to circulate. Our crew's <laughs> too tight to make that happen very well. There are well. people that, like, they've been working for us for 20 years. Yeah. But and they, they don't work, They don't want to work so much home? anymore. <laughs> yeah. So they work one shift. Mm -hmm. But they want to work one shift with Gabe because yeah. that's their habit. Uh, they making the rounds through DPW yeah. is uh, tricky. They we are, get people um, that go away less for years positive. at a time. Uh, we have exit wound they, back they get this real year. Heartbreaky real fast. He hasn't been out in five years and jumped into being a lane shift lead. Um, so how long have you been gay? <laughs> Ten years. Wow. So does it feel like like you now have family? Here? Like, Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I come here for the people. Of course. Me too. Uh, how, the long were you, how long were you a uh, participant before you uh, went to the other side? Uh, came here in 2000. Uh huh. And oh, then oh, joined okay. Gate in 2004. And then 2005. And then I left for a few years to go to Man Crew with Oba. And then came back here in 2012. So, how has Gate changed over the years? You've been here forever. Uh, it's. I like this department a lot now. Uh, the old school days, it was kind of growy and not Awkward. super great. Going through its teenage years. Yeah. And we got now, a lot of sense. now yeah. we we on purpose. It's like okay, so you have uh, ability issues. Like you're deaf. You're this. You're this. You're this. You're. Any of those things like we try to include everybody here, and uh, we've been probably one of the better departments uh, when um, like gender neutral terms came up, mm -hmm. and we we have conversations about that at training where it's like, hey, so ask people about their pronouns. It's they them theirs. It's you know, or their somebody. name. Yeah. Their name is a fine pronoun. Mm -hmm. You just keep repeating their names, and then people learn each other's names. Yeah. So one of one of our people um, had gone by a playa name for a good handful of years, and she doesn't want to do that anymore. She wants to be called by her actual name. And so it's like, cool. Let's do it. I I, I would like to mention this to people who don't come out here yet. There's some lacking of diversity at Burning Man in certain ways, but um, we have an incredible like safe space for LGBTQ, yeah. and we get a lot of really amazing folks from that community out here, yeah. and that's a super lucky thing for us. Yeah. I mean, though, though I will say the um, 
Let's be clear, this place is white as fuck. It is pretty mm -hmm. white. Uh -huh. Pretty white. Uh, as we look around the enclosure... 76% white. 76%? Maybe it's because they count at the end of the event whenever it was white. Yeah. We have a really large uh, death population, though. Yeah. Because, mm -hmm. like, there's a few big camps that come out, and Burning Man did a whole bunch of re outreach to them, get some tickets, help them do all of this stuff, because they want it to be more diverse. So I know all about that thing. So uh, my ex uh, was an interpreter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so uh, probably 2012, 2013, uh, had reached out. And it's like, so we had Val, we had 10-9 back then yeah. that were deaf staffers. And then there was uh, a deaf camp, uh, the Dirty Hands. It's a deaf camp. And so we rolled by there and they had a little whiteboard out front and somebody was from Maine. And it's like, I'm the only deaf person here, question mark. It's like, that's fucking heartbreaking. Yeah. Right? Like, you must feel so alone. Mm -hmm. So my ex uh, set up with a friend room cafe the next year, and so we set up interpreting. That's amazing. And so we did, I guess, such a good job that the deaf kids will come in here usually once a year and have a game night on their own and nice. hang out. Um, I met, a, uh, I worked with a dude in, in back in San Francisco who set up the giant deaf dance stage. Yeah. He, he created these vibrating motors mm -hmm. that uh, oscillate to the music. And like, I, I worked on a, um, a deaf dance piece and he installed them under our risers. And they were this coolest fucking thing. Right. And he was like, there's two major deaf camps now, so don't just look for the deaf camp. Right. <laughs> I, bet, I bet that's also been an incredibly just fun thing for everyone dancing on the stage. Like, oh, my God. Oh, yeah. I, I was a little bit like, do you attach this to other things? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that should just be a new trend in dance stages. Yeah. Mean, yeah. The Sibian stage. Yeah. <laughs> you go with earplugs and still enjoy yourself. Yeah. Oh, so true. I'm losing my hearing so bad. Oh, yeah. Mostly from art cars. The stages oh, you can choose how close you are to. That's one of the, one of the better perks about rolling with DPW is their staff cars you can ride on. They're much more quiet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, well, they they much are much um, musically, it's, 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 yeah, 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 musically yeah. quiet yeah. or mechanically. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Every now and then they spew like some sort of anger and break down. It's great. Hey, we we try. <laughs> <laughs> they, only, they only have to run a few months a year. Yeah, it's true. What's the situation with Gates art cars? Are there Gate art cars? Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> Are, Are they, they as crappy as DPW art cars? Uh, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> so, there are no DPW art cars. DPW? The Valar is a historical car. The Valar is a historical car. The Valar is basically the only actual art car. Yeah, it's not an art car. It's a historical So, DPW doesn't get... We get rental trucks for perimeter and all the rest of that stuff. DPW is not. And so... For all intents and purposes, every DPW vehicle is an operational vehicle. Do they get used to go out to go to Burning Man? <laughs> sure. Well, there's a, a lot of the like ones with spikes and flamethrowers that look like something out of Mad Max usually mm -hmm. go and pull some strings at the at the uh, Department of Vehicles and get a staff art car. Permit, so they can, they can like go around not yeah. But that's kind of the point I was making. They're not mutant vehicles. Yeah. But they, like, when you weld a bunch of radial saw blades to your car, that is an art car. <laughs> oh, did you guys see my new favorite one this year that is just cones sticking out? And oh, they just I love the fucking car. Yeah. Yeah. Oh I was in the backyard and they blocked the entrance to the Dacre. black hole. Yeah. Dacre. So, uh, my predecessor uh -huh. here is a artist that messes around with cars on weekends. Uh -huh. And so when he kind of retired from here, uh, he wanted to come back out. It's like, hey, I have a position for you. All you need to do is come do our things. It's like, no, 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 no. Stop, stop, stop. He came back out last year. He's like, hey, so I want to go grab cones and like screw them to the side of the car. Like, cool, do it. Don't do it in a way that it breaks it. Like, don't hit electrical, don't hit fuel. Don't, but yeah, you want to do it? 
Mm -hmm. Go ahead. It's so good. It gave me my first big laugh of the year. Yeah, and we we were trailing was, behind it as it was trying to uh, right in front of blocking yeah. the black hole. It was so perfect. Right after early bird, we watched them uh, <laughs> like take uh, swipes at three of the um, the street signs before street signs. That's just the posts. So and the folks last year that had the basically the giant bocce balls that had GPS uh -huh. in them. So we used that car last year to basically do that. Ah. It's like. We're not gonna like. Don't hit it with the bumper. Uh huh. Right. Hit it with the cone. Like, boop, just nudge boop, it. Boop, boop, boop. Like, well, what if it gets too far away? And it's got GPS. I don't know. <laughs> that is retrievable. Just it, don't break it. It was super funny to watch the driver try to hit the try to hit the posts and uh, watch his driving instincts or their driving instincts kick in, and they just couldn't quite bring themselves to get that close. It took like four swipes before they actually hit one. It's, it's hardwired in, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> don't, but, don't do that. <laughs> no, you can do this. <laughs> hey, back country. You should come sit with us. Come on. Come talk to uh, us. You should make a really uncomfortable face and uh, lean against that post, we really, I guess. We really like interviewing people who are slightly terrified of it. Come on in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the old pepper. Get good and loose. <laughs> she just ran the fuck away. Back country, as long as you're up. <laughs> we grab him a beer? Oh, I'm easy. Give no shits. Make out, make out, plus one. These nerds are doing uh, radio calls at each other. Come on, big up. Not over the radio, but just across the board. All right, no, wait, wait. Over here. Thank you, Turner. There we go. What? Welcome. Hi. Hi, Makeup. Hi, Makeup. Hi. Hi, Makeup Queen. Hi. Oh. Hi. 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 So, Makeup, this is Zagorisi III. I, I, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> hey, you know that guy? I, I well, that makes me uncomfortable. I, I've heard all about you. You are being recorded right now. Oh, oh that's now so a consent, I guess. <laughs> ah. So, Makeup, um, uh, why'd you come out here? Oh, okay. Why have you been coming out here for decades? <laughs> okay, I'm like, I'm like today. Uh, uh, I, I came out. Well, I came out to Burning Man to prove someone wrong. Was the first reason I came to Burning Man. Ooh, because, that's a pity. Uh, because Nimbus, who at that point worked for Cafe, uh, told me uh, I basically was like, oh, Burning Man, a bunch of fucking hippies and assholes, and blah 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 blah. And she's like, have you ever been to Burning Man? I'm like, no. She's like, well, I really respect you, but your opinion is shit to me because you've never been there. <laughs> I was like, whoa, whoa. all right, fine, then I'm, I'm going to go to Burning Man. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> and like, yeah, I get to the playa, and on day two, I'm just like, oh, good, 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 Give me all the Kool-Aid. I love this place. <laughs> uh, and so I come out here because of everyone I work with. You know, I just, I, I don't get to see so many of these people uh, during my, my waking year. And... Like, these are some of the baddest motherfuckers I've ever met in my life. And we all come together to build this fucking crazy party. So uh, what, did, what for, did you used to do? I used to run housing for DPW. And why did you come to gay? Fuck that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Plus one, you're running our interviews from now on. Uh, 2017, 2017 killed me. Killed me in every sense of the word. I just it broke me. My spirit and it broke me in half. Uh, so, but by doing housing for DTW, is that off and on Plata? Oh, yeah. If, if you work for anybody in Burning Man and you get one of our living units, whether it's in Gerlach or on Plata, I managed it. So it was over uh, 800 units that we, Burning Man, Oh, plus the 250 or 400 uh, personal rigs that I also had to manage. Woo. Wow. Yeah, the trailers were oh, a big sucked, pain in the ass. Dude, I agree. It the, I loved my crew, and I, I and I did it because I loved my crew. But, but I took the gear off because I needed to. Because I needed to relax. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're gonna. I'm not paying attention to that. Uh, one of our friends what? is just being. Being in Hello, inflated dildo from both sides. Yeah, that's more accurate. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, please continue, Mika. Uh, so yeah, it just uh, it just killed me. You know, it really it really knocked me down. Uh, so I took a year off. I uh, came out here for four days to figure out if I, if I liked Burning Man still. Uh -huh. Oh, it, that hard, huh? It was that hard. Oh. I mean, it was like it was it was hard. Yeah. It was hard. Uh, and I came out for four days and it was fucking awesome. Uh, so when the and they, the person that got to replace me uh, was fired pre event week. Oof. Oh, uh, wow. And, uh, and so then uh, the next person, uh, so the next year, when I thought about coming out, um, I was like, I, I think I'm, I'm not going to do housing. I'm not going to go back because it's going to kill me. And Buck Down called me and he's like, hey, I hear you're retiring. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I've retired from, from housing, totally. He's like, well, are, is that a hard retirement or is that a soft retirement? I was like, what do you mean? He's like, I think I got a job for you. He's like, go on. <laughs> and he's like, do you want to manage the bar with Roach? Jesus, <laughs> yes. I was like, yeah. I was like, this sounds and great. And Roach, he's also been here for a thousand years. Uh -huh. so. Yeah, let me know when you move on from this. I could use some good. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I've been coming since I've been coming and working since 2000. And did you yeah. did you work uh, DBW the entire time from O2 to? Oh no, I started with Gate. Uh -huh. uh, sorry, I started with uh, Cafe, uh, and then from Cafe I went to Arctica and I was managing Arctica with Ice Queen. Uh -huh. uh, and then from there I went to DBW. I celebrated my 10th year in 2017. Wow. That is a, a long and storied career. You've toured a bunch of departments. Yeah, yeah. And, and now, all the good ones start with cafe, though. Yeah, it's so funny. It's so funny. And like all but like, if you get fired or leave DPW, you end up in the game. It's, it's, yeah. it's pretty, it's pretty no, uh, we good. We coach people appropriately. You do. You have appropriate coaching. That's we, for sure. We've coached a lot of we DPW. Both. We've coached a lot of Rangers. Yeah. It's like, you also coach this. a lot of cafe, motherfucker. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. We don't need them. <laughs> yeah, we were a We're under the cafe. volunteer incubator. <laughs> yeah. But not today. Okay. Some of our volunteers show up at cafe and don't realize they belong at gate. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know if that's poaching or uh, correct placement. Actually, I think the real issue is that y'all are the closest awesome bar to us. Uh, so oh, this is where all of our uh, camper volunteers end up drinking. Yeah. Like, uh, I could also just live here. If I live here, I can still even. It's also the perks, though. Yeah. So, people for years. I'm tired of DBW. I'm tired of cafe. I'm tired of readers. I'm tired of this. It's like, cool. So, what do you need? Like, well, like lamplighters, they don't get tickets. Like, all those cats provide their own tickets, mm -hmm. and they don't get, like, the old guys give them money or any of that stuff for, like, their bar or whatever, and it's like, hey, so you come over here, like, well, what do I need to do? Like, well, you need to do five shifts. <laughs> no. <laughs> Richard! It's like you need to do five shifts to get a ticket. You need to do six shifts to get meals and eats or meals and showers from Saturday to uh, Sunday and from, oh, sorry, uh, Sunday to Saturday and now Sunday to Tuesday event week. It's like, cool, so you come out here, you have to work 36 hours. And you get a ticket. That is, that is not that. A guaranteed ticket for next year. And you get eat. And you get showers. But, you know. Wait, hold on. Are you now recruiting on this podcast? <laughs> not, you know, not allowed to take open. anyone on our team. Uh, not this know, year. We don't like people in black shirts. They're crusty. They're mean. Whatever. Okay. Cool. Then keep fighting for a ticket in the open sale. <laughs> So Never back, again. So back country. <laughs> how long have you been working on Gate? Uh, three years. Three years. And ha did you burn before then, or nope. did you start directly? I on started Gate? directly on Gate. <laughs> you look like someone who started directly on Gate. Um, my best friend has been working Gate for a while now, and she told me really great stories about it and Burning Man in general. So I lived in Reno for a while and was kind of anti-Burning Man until I met her. 
Yeah, all the good ones start out being like, that's stupid. Yeah. I don't want to do that. Yeah, I already know things that are cool. Yeah. 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 She had a lot of great stories, and she's like, Gates just full of people who wore a lot of black in high school and never really got over it, so you'll fit in great. So, <laughs> yeah. We used to be goth kids. Yeah. <laughs> we would be goth kids again. Yeah. In Gate Perimeter and Exodus, you can be goth without painting your face. Mm -hmm. yeah. Make them smudge is really bad in the dust. I, I, don't, I don't remember you ever being a goth kid. I was pretty sure you meant. I look exactly the same way uh -huh. as <laughs> I don't do costumes. I, no. The, I mean, what's the first thing you remember was... about meeting Rex? No, no, we're not doing Rex's <laughs> high school stories. <laughs> did you do? Uh, did you do technical theater or something with all the blacks? Yeah. 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 Theater kids of Burning Man. Yeah. Same here. Same here. Fuck yeah. yeah. Tech theater kids. God, we are so good at this shit. Okay. Also, I still do that. Technically, I'm still a tech theater kid. That is what I get paid for. Yeah. I don't work with sound, that's as close as I go. Yeah. So it's awesome you get paid for it. About yeah. this. Uh, okay. <gasps> You're two years older than me? Okay, the okay. this story. Yeah, yeah, go so, ahead. I generally had a baby face and like we couldn't go get beer or whatever and uh, since we were seen me liquor I think you were 15, 16 years old. Yeah, I was like, full beer. I was and absolutely the liquor plug for you. Walks up and it's like, I'll take a fifth of Jameson, I'll take this, I'll take this, I'll take this, I'll take this. I didn't even check your ID. No. Like, I, yeah. I have essentially worn the same face since 15 and I've just hit the point where people are starting to guess younger than my actual age. Yeah. <laughs> I had a dude like you in college. Um, his name was William. He was like a year younger than us because he was so smart. He couldn't have passed for younger than 45. <laughs> like he had wrinkles already, he had a full fucking beard, he had like middle-aged dude body. <laughs> I had a couple of uh, I had a couple of drivers there, uh, drivers for uh, USS pump drunk drivers in here the other night, and uh, I was talking to them. They, they had a problem, and I was just like, man, like anybody who knows Turberger and Stevo, I was like, those are my boys. I was like, if you work for them, you're my you know you're my boys. I was like, they're like, oh, have you known them for a while? I was like, I've known them since the Johnny on the Spot days. Uh huh. Uh, and that was like, you know, 2002 or something. And then I come and still Johnny on the Spot, and this kid looks at me, he's like. How old? <laughs> I'm like, 45? Question mark? And he looks at me, he's like, damn, bro, you look well, good. Yeah. Like, clean, healthy living on the playa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I remember you know, one of the earliest times I ever saw you. So I, was, you know, I was like a nine year old kid or something seeing you announce for the uh, Thunderdome. Oh my God. So much, like, Your dog damn, called Tidbit. That woman's so fucking cool. Oh, I love you, baby. I, I didn't realize you uh, just called her yeah. Makeout that it was Makeout Queen. You should probably not have that radio on this radio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't remember when I first interacted with you, but it was definitely a housing situation and neither of us were happy about it. <laughs> like all fucking afternoon. Oh, every, every fucking person who's seen me, you know, because like I was gone last year and this year, every person who's seen me, and there's no hyperbole in this. Like, if it's not the first thing they say, it's the second, which is, gosh, you seem so much happier than <laughs> Every morning, we, we see we, you. We have that with our, with our Kez. Our Kez, who we miss very much from Cafe. Oh, yeah. Who has moved on to a really cool position, and every time I see Kez out on playa, he's just glowing. He is like, the shortest oh. guy with the biggest spring in his step. Yeah. <laughs> we miss you, Kez. It was, just, it was such, it was so distressful. Oh, yeah. Do you like people's houses? It's hard yeah. because I get it. I get out here like I, you know. This morning I like wiped down my trailer, put new sheets on. Like I'm I'm house proud, you know. And when my house is not right, ooh, I'm a bitch. And you can tell like when like things are going down. If you come to my trailer, it's like a, a shit show. And you're, like I will be at like eleven. Just like. Ugh. So like 2014, second day of cleanup week, I locked myself out of my container for the first and only time. Oh. And instead of calling your department, I had one of my friends, who was a small live bastard, take my air conditioner out and weasel into my <laughs> container that way to unlock it so I didn't have to bother you. <laughs> hey, DD, you're doing it. That's wrong. <laughs> yeah. That's so awesome. I can fix a fucking problem I created. That's the fact. Well, now you know about a security fault, too. Yeah. Oh, right. Oh, shit. We'll, we'll beat the most of that out. out. <laughs> That'll be a funny story. We will not beat most of that out. That is good cover for our crime spree. <laughs>
Yeah. So the other day, you were on the radio. I was on the radio. And, and like, I, I do that. You know what the best part about this is? I can go eat lunch oh, and nobody right. fucking bothers me. It's true. It's true. Like, it's, it, I was sitting there and I was eating. I was sitting next to uh, Entropy and a couple of gay folks. And I was just like, we're talking and laughing and I'm eating. And all of a sudden I just stopped. I was like, oh my God, here's another reason why I love my job. And they're like, why? I'm like, I can eat lunch. And they're like, what? I'm like, I have never in the 10 years that I worked DBW was able to walk in the commissary, not get accosted by people's shit stories about like how they need a, like their toilet stopped or like this is wrong or that is wrong. I'm just like, dude, I'm just trying to eat. And like literally I would sit down maybe two minutes and I'd have to get up and leave on a call. Yeah, you've been me in the past where it's like you go get it to go. Because you know somebody's gonna fuck with your wife. Uh, it's like, I'm gonna sit here and try to eat my goddamn salad, and then all of a sudden it's like, hey, so. Like, right? Fuck. Yeah. Yeah, script, script you on, de like, on delivery to the commissary with her guy all the time so that she didn't just get accosted by people with all their problems for like, you know, hey, hey, I need this medication. Hey, can you come fix this shit? But she just couldn't do it anymore. She couldn't even go on the commissary. Your teams are so big. I like small teams. They're, the problems are are located. <laughs> uh, I did that for a script. Script is my mom out here. She was with the uh, okay. so, so, as far as it's only like 10, 12 people. Yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy. It's in like, this place chews you up and spits you out. Like, like, like I, this job is like a breath of fucking fresh air. Uh, like, I plan parties and get people to like, sometimes I gotta green dot someone, so I gotta kick them out for the night. But like, literally, man, Ooh. I'll call a reminder to the fuckers who are hating their jobs at Burning Man. You can stop and do something else. There is a Dude, department yeah. that is right for you. Yeah, but you, you would find it. Not. That's what Wall Boy said to me at the end of 2017. Yeah. We're sitting in the bar during Yes Joe. And I. Ooh. Man, I was just, I was on a tear. I was drinking whiskey like for tomorrow. And we're talking about my job. And he's like, you know, you can change jobs. And I was like, what What am I going to do? And he's like, anything else? Yeah, one that doesn't hurt physically, mentally, and spiritually. Yeah, and I just like, never thought of it. It was just like, well, I'm going to, this is what I do. Like, and then it was like, no, you, you're like, last year when I came out, I was just like, I don't have a job. What am I doing? This is so weird. And my friend's like, you have a job. Your job is being make out. <laughs> you can do that anywhere. And I was like, Oh shit. And that's, you know, the next year I was like, I'm not going back. I'm only, I'm picking and choosing which problems to solve. I, I feel like that should be the introductory packet to every Burning Man volunteer. Hi, welcome to your role. You don't have to keep doing this. Yeah. And then when you get a radio, year, it's like, you can do welcome to your next role. Year. Start finding the person to replace you. Yeah. Oh my God. And do this for as long as you like. Oh yeah, they have, they, like I said earlier, they fired. Uh, like this Tuesday free event, and they uh, they fired the new housing manager this year. Tuesday free event. I will, I will be bleeping that out. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I mean the name, not the situation. <laughs> no, it was. Uh, I mean it's that like some of the gigs out here are just terrible. Relentless. Like they should be more than one person by a long shot. Oh my god. Yeah. I mean they gave. They gave parts of my job to other people in other departments. Like oh, on, yeah. on DPW. Because it's just like, it's just, it's too much, yeah. man. Yeah. I mean, it's too much. I've Wait. spent the last nine years splitting my role into like seven fucking people. So they're like outsourcing. Well, I mean, like every year they're just like, here's three more things. They're like, you need to give me two more bodies. Uh, by the way, listeners, this is how angry D Day sounds on Flat. He doesn't really <laughs> sound that way normally, but. I'm also fine. not angry. He's fine. He just sounds that angry all of the Did time. Did that sound angry? Yes. God you damn don't it. understand how your expressions oh. emerge. <laughs> <laughs> maybe just like really intense. Maybe not yeah. angry. Yeah, maybe I'll figure out some way to mitigate that. Like, yeah. <laughs> maybe. You're an actor. He'll figure it out. Uh, uh, just carry on, take you. So much. <laughs> You're my new assistant. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also the man who's in third of DJ.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's so silly. Like you would think, like, like every year, uh, housing grows by like 15 percent. Like every year, like, like newsflash, you're always gonna buy more trailers. You're gonna make more boxes. You're gonna do so much so, more shit. Just to be clear, what is housing? So housing, if you work for DP, uh, you work at Burning Man, and you get you your your job requires you to have a living situation. You will be uh, DPW to provide you with either a trailer, a living container, Hello? or a box. Uh, so it's basically like our boxes are a little bit big, bigger than prison cells. So so how many container, how many situations are you dealing with? I ones that are Burning Man allocated over 800. Over 800 across all of the staff teams. All across all of the staff teams. It is insane for one person to be doing that job. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that's like, and that's also all of the servicing for all of the trailers. So water and pump outs, managing that. Sink. Oh, Dee Dee doesn't get one with a okay. toilet. <laughs> uh, that's not true. I have a toilet and a sink. They don't work. You can't poop in them. <laughs> not even the great sink. Great storage. Great storage. Great storage. Yeah. Yeah. I turned my bathroom into a walk-in closet because it wasn't working. Okay. Yep. Yeah. I was just like, sweet. Somebody found so, shit. One of the other things. Another mattress is here. Oh. Oh. Zeno! <laughs> God damn it! Oh, oh Jesus! That that's mean. Fuck. Yeah. That's, that's mean. Yeah. Well, that's why somebody got fired on Tuesday of Blue Week. <laughs> One of the New friend, announce your name, please. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we have six yeah. minutes before we have to go eat and then get back to show. Oh, yes. Yeah. Hi, guy. We're by departmental. I work for Rangers and Gate. Nice. Oh, you're one of the Gate Rangers. Uh, black and Tans. Yeah. Is that, is that a danger? Dangers? Uh, danger. Just, no, just no. danger. Uh, <laughs> gate uh, Rangers, like DPW Rangers, are few and far between and are specifically deployed to deal with gate issues or DPW issues. Occasionally. Occasionally. It, it, we, we try to keep like a little separation of like our duties, but like I do, at Burning Man, I do uh, Green Dot stuff for the Rangers and I have like one shift this year, but I usually do maybe a little more, but I've been doing more of uh, rain. Doing more uh, perimeter and uh, gate this year. So uh, you're saying you're an introvert? <laughs> yes. Yeah. I like being in a truck yeah. alone at night. Yeah. <laughs> um, how does being a ranger compare to being a gate? A gate. <laughs> well, the. There is differences. There's uh, definitely the way you're getting called on to things in Rangers is you spot something, you end up going in and trying to help people, mediation a little bit more, or being called out to something to be mediated. Yeah. Where gate, you can be part of a group of people and just doing a job of, hey, I'm going to search vehicles. I'm going to deal with this individual that's having problems with their tickets. They get emotional crisis, they're freaking out, they got scammed, they got mis misbarcoded or something, or didn't get their WAP in order. Oh yeah, so you get, I guess like a crossover. Green Dot training for that would be that really training good. Is, is nice. Yeah, yeah um, there's a lot of tears in D-Lot. Yeah, <laughs> and that's that's, that's, that's staff only. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, but it's, it's good to have the resources of knowing uh, Knowing what the Rangers do and what the Gate does, and Gate has all has more levels of participation, I think, in some ways. Like you, you, have, fluff, you have a little bit of people are doing mostly focusing on Gate on entrance, and they have people who are focusing on perimeter, people who focus on Exodus, and uh, then there's logistics inside. And for a lot of uh, the Ranger stuff. Those teams are smaller, it yeah. seems, yeah. and you have a lot more people as general dirt rangers. Yeah. Uh, we made a, an episode about the rangers this year, and in doing so, we looked at some of their uh, documents online, and I was kind of shocked at how many tiny sub teams there are these days. Yes, there are now lots of sub teams. Um, you, are you on a sub team at all? Uh, Other than Green Dot? No. Dot? I, my partner is. Um, uh, a troubleshooter. So they get to go on the special missions and sometimes have a vehicle to go. Uh, with Tanuki. Yes, like Tanuki. Yeah. yeah. Tanuki was the one we uh, interviewed to be the, the Ranger voice. Yep, she's another person from Seattle. 
Mm. Yeah, there's a bunch of rangers from Seattle that come I feel down. like we must only be like one step away. I know a shit ton of Seattle burners. That's where I started from. <laughs> I hide. I'm, as you said earlier, introvert. Yeah. <laughs> Seattle's a good place for that. Yes, it is. You've always got the excuse. Oh, I, I just can't come out. It's raining. <laughs> no, it's sunny. No, it's too sunny. <laughs> um, I didn't need breakfast. Yeah. I need to eat yeah. lunch. Okay. <laughs> um, oh my God, thank you. Thank, thank, thank you everyone. all. Yeah. So you're going to put me bread roll with butter. <laughs> bread roll with butter? That's what you need? From Oh, thank you. Assuming they're still there. Uh, Did you not eat? Only thank you all. We're gonna go eat and then go back go to work. Do yeah. Have fun. Do it. Yeah. Do yeah. it. It's so good. Good night. What? Oh, oh, enjoy. oh yeah. Oh god, it's been such a good oh, year. Yeah. Uh, we we also have the correct number of people. Drink water. Yeah. Drink yeah. Water. yeah. Correct number is very important. Drink water, drink water. We're allowed to have the correct number of people. It's just hard to recruit that much. Yeah. And actually have them show up. Oh, they're so coming back and asking this. I know. They all actually drink beer. Great. Accuracy Third is produced by us. We're friends. We are friends. Accuracy Third, that's us. Uh, in today's episode, you've heard music most likely made by GarageBand. <laughs> um, Accuracy Third is not just the three of us in this room. It is also other people who are not currently contributing. God damn it, Pope. Leanne and Hotwire. Help. <laughs> this is a lot of work. Accuracy Third is produced by Accuracy Third. Accuracy Third is presented by our patrons on Patreon. Thank you, patrons on Patreon. We could literally not pay for our electricity and our internet and fixing our table and doing all of this work without you. Thank you. Hey, like and subscribe to us and do all of that shit. Also, hey, if you have a Burning Man camp and you like us, give us the rest of your Burning Man camp. And, um... For interviews, like, not for purposes. Get... <laughs> well, it depends. Depends on the camp. Tell Contact you, how us. How hot is your camp? How, how hot is your camp to me? Yeah, the three of us <laughs> do have genitals. <laughs> and this we would is... like to know how hot your camp is. <laughs> Absolutely going to be the season of... Opener. Accuracy third, fishing for groupies. <laughs> no. No, 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 we're cutting that out, too. <laughs> I don't go fishing. I went fishing when I was a kid. It is boring, and you have to kill both worms and fish. That's groupers. Great. Thanks. Bye, guys. Bye.